Music, by definition, is about relationships. The relationships between all the instruments, the relationship with the instruments and the composer through the conductor. Ultimately, it's a relationship through this sound and the people listening to it. And that's the audience. Every point of our day, we are experiencing music, whether we're at a birthday party and singing happy birthday or just listening to it when we're in the shower. Music is having this profound impact on our lives in everything we do. Classical music, there is such an air of stuffiness. Even what we wear, it seems so old school. I usually wear just more casual things because I don't want the impression to be that we're here and then the, the audience is here as if there's some weird separation. I love all kinds of music. Most symphonic music, opera, but I love uh, reggae rap a lot. I love old school jazz. I have more recordings of Frank Sinatra than I have of anything else. We go to a rock concert, we're into it. We might be dancing. We're, classical music, symphonic music is the same. The presentation and the experience with the audience is the dessert to the fine meal. But the meal itself is the rehearsal process. Rehearsals is where you discover all sorts of new things. Interpretation. That's a big word used with conductors. Every conductor is going to interpret the music differently. Because the conductor is just not beating time. The conductor is, is, is like a horse and a jockey. The horse is the orchestra. That horse can run around that track without the conductor's help, no problem. But how every jockey is going to run that same horse? Turn the corner slightly differently, might speed up here, might just the nuances of conducting is what an orchestra is looking for. Not so much when the play, all that's important too, but how to play. Um, let's skip. It says to get, get louder, well how loud? Oh, it says to get faster, well how fast? It says maybe to play more expressive, well, what does that mean? You make no noise at all. You're influencing music through your body language. You are only as influential as the players allow you to be. But when an orchestra allows you in and allows you to turn and, and, and change the way we play, you, you, it's, there's nothing more magical. It's the epitome of dancing with like 100 people at the same time as if you can get up and do a dance, but instead of dancing with one person, you're dancing with dozens and dozens. And it's just, um, it's, it, it changes your whole life and perspective of everything you do. Yeah, bravo. Um. When I first started out, I remember I would be shaking so much, the stick would be shaking. A conductor I studied with said to me, just put your elbow next to your rib cage, and the shaking would stop. I still get very nervous. I still have to pace before every performance. Now, when I get to the podium, I feel like I'm where I belong. I can't wait to see all the players. This community has been extraordinarily kind to me and to this organization. 
and we exist for them. We exist to bring music to the people and to impact their lives. Pretty much every three weeks, we're bringing music to people here. Helena and the Lewis and Clark region. When we're doing a concert, the restaurants are filled, hotels are more full. Just the Symphony of Stars makes over a million dollar impact into the region's economy. Over a million dollars people are spending in the community that weekend. That's a pretty significant impact. It changes the way our community operates and functions. Making music is about relationships. And we have some of the greatest relationships here. I think music is one of the areas that we can find common ground. We can experience something beautiful or noise or loud or fun or silliness all at the same time and let the other stuff that divides us subside, at least for a moment. This is the greatest life in the world. I always say that conductors, we don't retire, we just sort of drop dead. Because the best way to go is walking off the podium, knowing that we just made music together and impacted people's lives. When someone finds me in my dressing room dead one day, they can know that that was all good.